So what we are going to do is take a look at a couple of pieces and walk you through what you are going to need to know about January 7th. Uh, there's a couple of important pieces that we really, really, really need to make sure that we have uh, in place uh, and ready to go so that we can be successful and get done that enrollment fair process. This is new and we are definitely trying something we've never done before here, uh, but it has been done in the area and other schools and we're excited about this opportunity. So on January 7th, our first day back from winter break, you're gonna report directly to your advisory classroom. So where you are right now is where you will report uh, on January 7th, first thing at 740. You will not go to first hour, uh, you will go right to the place that you are right now. Uh, and that's going to get us a chance to give you information that you need to be successful in the day that we have planned, the morning that we have planned. So at that point, you're going to be given a sheet that's going to have a schedule on it for you to follow. And that schedule is going to show you your rotations. Uh, and so you're going to be with the same group of people for a good portion of that morning. And during that time, you're going to have opportunities to hear directly from your counselor about important information about the enrollment process. You're going to have an opportunity to hear from uh, all four of our con core content areas, uh, English, math, science, and social studies. We'll share with you particular choices you have in looking at courses for next year, appropriate to your grade level. And then you'll also have an opportunity to explore electives and go and have conversations with those teachers in those departments about opportunities that they have for you as elective uh, options in your grade level. This is a really great opportunity to take the program of studies, which is a big giant 104 page PDF document and bring it down into a very human level uh, to be able to say, these are the courses we offer. Here's what your prerequisites are. Here's what you need to know coming into the course. And here's what we're all about to be successful. Uh, that's gonna be important that we follow that timeline uh, because it is set up with a rotation for all students, 9th, 10th, and 11th grade. So we got a lot of people moving around the building and it's imperative that we follow that schedule. So when you get that schedule on January 7th, what we're gonna ask you to do is take a look and make sure you know where you're gonna be going, but also to select the electives that you might want to explore. When we look at those electives, uh, those are going to be opportunities you may know about or you may not know about. So it's your chance to have uh, those conversations with friends, but more importantly with the teachers uh, and the staff about what those electives are. If you are in music, as an example, band, orchestra, choir, and you know you're going to be in music next year, there's an elective opportunity for you to talk to those teachers, but you already know that information. If you know what you're going to be in for PE, you're going to take for PE next year, don't worry about selecting that as a topic to explore. Choose something else that you haven't explored yet and go speak with those teachers. So really PE electives, band, orchestra, choir, those music things that you know you're gonna do, you're gonna keep doing those. For those of you that have never done those things, those are opportunities for you to go talk to those teachers so that you can explore with them. We really wanna give you an opportunity to explore a lot of different pieces during this day. Uh, and it's gonna be really helpful if we do a little bit of legwork ahead of time. So what I wanna show you here is on our website, it's really gonna be helpful if you go to the Student Services tab, and when you click on Student Services, it's gonna take you to this website. You've heard this before from your counselors and it's a wonderful resource that they've put together for us. But if you look over here on Enrollment and Academic Planning, when you get to enrollment and academic planning, you, I gotta switch my tab here. When you get to enrollment and academic planning, you are going to find the program of studies. And if you click on program of studies, you're gonna to come to this PDF resource. And this PDF resource is a really great opportunity for you to spend some time looking at and reading about what our current program of studies is. And it, it, it will change. Uh, we're in the process of making some slight changes, but 
if you look at all of these different pieces, you can click on mathematics. And when you click to mathematics, it'll take you directly to our course descriptions for mathematics. It will take you all the way through and look at who can enroll in that. What are the prerequisites for those classes? Now, we may not offer all of these classes here at East because they don't always make in our program, uh, in our scheduling. But this is an opportunity for you to really do that exploration. And if we go all the way back to the top, we can take ourselves back to that first page where we get to click and explore. And so if you're looking at electives, you know, perhaps you're looking at um, art and visual art. When you click on art and visual art, it'll walk you through all of the different pieces that we have. You know, what is the difference between um, graphic design uh, and uh, our uh, in the art department versus our graphics program in uh, the business department. What do we need to know for painting? Do I have intro to studio art? All of these are opportunities for you to explore the curriculum that we have to offer. Now, I do also want to point out that you're going to have an opportunity to explore the uh, the um, signature programs. There's more information in here, but we will have the principle for our signature programs uh, on site and walking you through all of those uh, opportunities in that brief time. But the other piece that your counselors have told you, and we want to make sure everybody understands, is you have your graduation requirements. So in this course planning that you're going to be doing, you always want to be thinking of those course requirements and graduation requirements. You need four years of English language arts. You need three years of social studies. You need three years of math, three years of science, one unit, one year of PE, all of these things that are required. But the other piece that you've been told many, many times, what is the region's qualifications for admission? If you want to go to KU or K-State or any of the region's institutions in our state, there are other graduation requirements that you need to make sure you are aware of. So all of this, this is, is designed to give us an opportunity to look at and explore all of the opportunities we have here at East in order to get you set up for uh, success uh, during this enrollment fair. So all of that information, like we said, let me get back to my tab. All of the information is held here in that Student Services and Counseling website. Under Enrollment and Academic Planning, you can get to all of that information and you will be set to go. So let's do a little exploration uh, of the program of studies, begin thinking about and planning for our enrollment fair on January 7th. So we appreciate all of the work you've been doing. And now we have the opportunity to explore those things, to get ready for the enrollment fair. But also, don't forget, finals are next week. That information is in this uh, link as well. But also, don't forget about that finals planning guide to help you study to be the most successful. Let's finish out this semester strong and look forward to second semester. Have a great break.